<laughs> Dark Matter, 14th of Feb, pre-order. Hey, Max Roach, my influence, my hero, one of my favorite drummers. That's a very important and very, just amazing album. That was a fun session, all of us in one studio, I think for the week, you know, just very quick, very put together, very cool. A nice snapshot of what was going on in London at that time. There's loads of communities in London and that's like one that's been getting a lot of attention and it's been good. Ooh, that's, uh, yeah, that soundtracked my whole teenage years. Uh, Boy in the Corner, the best grime album in my opinion and just ultimate classic. Promised Heights, my favourite band, Samande. Um, everything I love about music on their albums. Naya Bingy, reggae, jazz, soul, funk, sick. Classic, absolute classic. Hey, my friend Joe. Wicked, um, Wicked album. The sessions were fun. Um, I'm trying to recall a lot of those sessions. So those ones are cool because it's myself and another drummer, Quake Bass. And it's funny when I listen back to him, I have to always refer to the record and be like, which one am I on the kids, you know? Because it was very like, I, we went in and I recorded it basically in one day. Um, wicked man, wicked record. Just a madman. I like people that push the envelope as far and as possible as they can. He's a big inspiration, him, Square Pusher. I'm big into electronic music. I remember listening to that album in a thunderstorm flying into Mexico City and it was like pitch black <laughs> and it was like the best and worst soundtrack you could ever have the planes doing this and it was like sirens going on in my ear but that that's how I got into that record Tony Williams you know I don't I know this record but I don't know it as well as some of his other stuff like you know flying and lifetime and that stuff but one of my favorite drummers by far um, definitely one of the greatest drummers to sort of do do it really big inspiration um, I did a DJ set with Mad Lib in 2019 and <laughs> the funniest thing about it, he was like, who wants to hear my iPad beats? And then he started playing beats he'd been making on his iPad, which later we found out a lot of them made it onto that album and it was wicked, incredible. Roy Haynes, for me, one of the best drum sounds consistently throughout his whole career. You can just really tell it's him, really crisp, boomy bass drum and his touch is incredible. So I started listening to all of these like classic jazz drummers, I'd say, from my first drum teacher. He was a jazz drummer and he first put me onto people like Max Roach and Philly Joe Jones. And yeah, that kind of just exposed me to everything. And then once I got into Max Roach and Philly Joe Jones, I kind of just worked my way from there and sort of found similar drummers and similar artists that they played with. Dark Matter, yes, my latest offering to the world. It features all of my friends, all of my people from London, some guests from around the world and yeah I'm really proud of it so when I finished the record usually I have an idea of what I want the album cover to be but this one I really didn't while I was writing this album you know there was a lot going on in the UK um, politically socially with dark matter it's like this force that binds us together that we can't really explain and I feel like with all that was going on at least in the UK and in Europe there were a lot of dark moments but in those dark moments there was pro there was proactiveness, there was productivity, there was people coming together to kind of sort of unify, whether it was under ideology, under a flag, under uh, uh, social injustice. So, you know, it's bad, but we're going to get through it, you know? So that was one of the best visual representations <laughs> um, that was presented to me, so yeah.